chat and I'll call on you and we'll get started. So we'll go ahead and get started with uh, Jasper Sundin from the Daily Cow. Uh, hi, do you mind if I call you Jam? That's great, thank you. All right, um, wonderful. So uh, as I understood, you played uh, in the VFL. Uh, yeah. You're from Geelong, are you excited for the grand final? Are you gonna stay up for that? It is, it's grand final weekend back home. So uh, Richmond versus Geelong. And uh, yeah, it's a big weekend back home normally. So um, different with COVID this year, obviously. Uh, but super exciting. I might have to get up at 1 a.m. to watch it, though, Jasper. I'm going to try to be up for it, too. Um, can you just talk a little bit about the transition from, from footy to American football? Yeah, uh, it's been over the last few years now. So, um, obviously, I played back home um, in the VFL, and it's a very different sport, but we grew up kicking – the football, that's how we pass. Instead of throwing the ball, we kick it with our feet to each other. So um, have been kicking the ball all my life. So the transition to the punting position uh, was was pretty simple um, in terms of I didn't have to pick up anything all that new to me. Um, have been working on the, the spiral um, sort of pro style kick over here. That's been the biggest transition. Um, but we've got a few kicks, a few uh, different sort of looks up our sleeve this year. And it's been a pretty seamless transition and absolutely loving the experience and um, into sort of my second full year of practicing for punting now. And then Coach Wilcox talked about you having a couple of kicks. Um, is that something that you learned sort of as you've acclimated to American football or those things you're bringing in from footy? So most of them come from football. Uh, in Australia, uh, we have to have a variety of different kicks um, to be able to pass the ball and, and use the ball in our game back home. So, uh, yeah, there's a number of different kicks and you have to be able to kick with both sides of your body. So with my right leg, which is my predominant leg, and then also on the left leg, you have to be able to use that leg as well. So um, I've got some tricks up my sleeve, as you could say, and um, but definitely working on more so the pro-style spiral punt um, that's sort of accustomed to the punting position over here. Okay, that's, that's pretty good. Yeah. Okay, I'll move on to Jeff Barato from SI. Hey, Jamison. Um, tell us, based on your experience, what's your favorite part of Aussie rules football and what do you think will be your favorite part? Or maybe as a fan, what's your favorite part of American football? Yeah, uh, nice to see you, Jeff. So just to, uh, just to quickly say that the team environment in both aspects is in what I love about sports. So that whole team camaraderie, obviously there's a lot more players on my team this year uh, with 100 and, 100 and so in American football and there's only 20 odd in the Australian game. So um, what I love, like it was my first love, Australian football. It was my dream. It was to play professionally in Australia and um I love everything about it. My uncle was lucky enough to play professionally and I just grew up with a football in my hand all the time. So um, it be begun out like most people as a social thing, playing with your mates, um, playing with your friends and um, quickly progressed to a career that I wanted to follow. And so I, I love everything about Australian football. Um, what I love about American football, I'm still obviously picking it up, but I just love how big it is in the culture over here in America. It is just massive, like not only NFL, but even the college um, system, how big that is over here and how much support there is from the community, especially in Berkeley um, and how seriously it's taken um, for a university sport. It's incredible. We don't have that in Australia and that's been the biggest eye opening thing for me. Um, it's just the passion that comes with playing American football. So I'm looking forward to being out there. And obviously you, you don't wear pads or, or a helmet in, in Australia, is this almost like a softer version because of that? And does it give you some confidence that maybe there's a, a fake punt and a run in your future? Oh, we'll have to wait and see, Jeff. I know, I mean, I'd love to get out there and use my legs. That's what I used to do playing back home. So hopefully I might be able to get away with a fake or two this year. Um, we'll wait and see. But um, that's just uh, something that you've got to get used to. I mean. There's still big hits over here in, in American football. Uh, just because we don't wear pads back home, 
it, there's a difference. Like there's, there's definitely big hits in Australia and they fix, seem like they're bigger because they haven't got pads on. Um, but when you're standing on the sideline here watching the guys go at it, they're still hitting very hard, knowing that they've got a little bit of added protection, uh, which we don't have back home. So the hits still are big over here as well. Beautiful, thanks. No hey, Trace Travers with Rivals. Yeah, hey Jamison, how's it going? Good, Trace, how are you? Pretty good, pretty good. When I talked to uh, Coach Regal a couple of weeks ago, he said you've taken over kind of a leadership role in the, the specialist room. Uh, can you talk about how that's kind of been when you're one of the newer guys to the team as well? Yeah, I, I, uh, it's something that comes naturally to me, uh, Trace. Um, I think it helps that I'm possibly three or four years older than most of the guys on the team. I do feel like the oldest person out there a lot of the time. Um, I'm 23 now. So I just think it comes with experience, um, having played like – semi-pro back home in Australia playing and being a leader back home. I uh, was often captain of the teams that I played in and just always something that I've aspired to be as a leader in, in my community and um, in my sports teams. And yeah, I just have been me, to be honest, Trace. I've just came over and uh, tried to be as much me as I can possibly be. And um, it's a younger group of guys. And there's also some guys that have been here for a couple of years. So I had to sort of test, like see the waters um, and, and sort of have a look at it all early and, you know, get a, get a lay of the land, as we say. But um, we've got some great guys on the special teams unit. But if I can play that senior role, that senior figure and the sort of, even if it's a, a dad-like, a father figure role, um, then I'm happy to do so. And um, if that helps us win football games and be good on special teams, then I'm, I'm glad I'm doing my part. And with that, during the, you know, the layoff that you guys had, oh, from the end of spring ball to the beginning of fall camp, what were you able to do as far as, you know, kicking and everything? Yeah. So um, obviously a difficult time for everyone involved. And uh, it was about innovation and trying to do as much as you could with the circumstances put in front of you. So all of us um, essentially uh, went back to our own environments. Um, I stayed in California um, and really what it is, is about finding those opportunities, finding the, the high school field that you can go to and um, I can work on my, my punts. I know some guys did a lot of running, finding just pick any patch of grass that was, you know, able to be ran on or, um, yeah, like I said, the fields in the local community. Um, that's what I personally did. I found local high school fields and got out there and kept my punting at least a couple of times a week just to stay on top of it. Um, and also I went to Home Depot and uh, I got some concrete and a, and a steel pole and made some, some dumbbells and um, so I could lift some more weights. So I, st I did as much as I could, a bit of innovation during the, during the strange time that COVID is. Fantastic. Thank you. Yeah. Hey, we'll move on to David Bush from Bear Insider. Jameson, um, now you, I, I understand you were a fan of the New York Giants. Is that kind of got your introduction to uh, American football? Have you actually seen a game live? Uh, I have the only, I, I have seen two games, David. And, and the first game I got to see was uh, up in New England. Actually, I came over in 2017 with my best friend on a on a road trip, and uh, we went up to Foxborough. Uh, around Christmas time, and it was probably the coldest day of my life. <laughs> and uh, I sat at the top of Foxborough Stadium, uh, Gillette Stadium, and watched New England play Buffalo. And uh, that was an experience in itself. I, we don't have, like, the snow and the cold back where I'm from, so that was an experience. So I have seen an NFL game. And then I came on my official visit uh, last year to the USC Cal game at um, at mm -hmm. Memorial Stadium and got to see the boys play live last year and wasn't the result we were after, uh, unfortunately, in that game. Um, we were looking good for a couple of injuries, but um, I have seen two games now, only one game of college, but looking forward to seeing my second game and one that I, hopefully I'll be involved in. And uh, when you went to that New England game, did you know then that you really wanted to take up the sport? No, absolutely not. It wasn't even on my horizon at that point. I mean, I'm a 
have always been for the last five to 10 years since I can remember a big fan of NFL and college ball um, in Australia. It's a growing trend in Australia following the NFL. And um, I've been a big, uh, big fan for the last few years. So I never really thought that I'd be over here playing it myself. Um, but sometimes you've got to take the opportunities that are in front of you. And my career had come to a, to a close in Australia with Australian football and the opportunity from Pro Kick Australia came knocking. And uh, yeah, a couple of years later, David, and here I am. So. And one more thing, uh, Coach Wilcox talked uh, earlier this week about how you've adapted to other things f uh, involved in punting besides just kicking the ball, how you catch it and things like that. Uh, was that hard to learn? Was that a big transition for, for you? Is it different from uh, Australian? I'm pretty fortunate, David, that uh, in Australia and the position I played, um, you have to be able to catch the ball. So uh, you have to have really good hands. We grow up from a really young age practicing our catching and our, our ball security and holding onto the ball. So um, I've been doing that since before I could walk. And uh, it's, a, it's a slightly different ball that we use over here as compared to back home, but um, certainly have grown up catching that shape of football my whole entire life as what as to what I can remember so that wasn't uh that was a nice easy transition for me um and it was just the other sort of uh smaller parts smaller details of the game that I've been trying to pick up thanks very much thanks David. okay I think Jasper Sundin from the Daily Cal had another question yeah um so I I know like you're so as you said I I guess like practicing on um, getting around you, but do you have any goals for this season? Anything you've sort of figured out that like targets you want to hit? Yeah, absolutely. I think, you know, it was looking like for a while there that we might not have a season. So um, it's pretty exciting to have this one come about seven games. It's exciting. Um, I guess for me, I just want to solidify my spot as the starting punter on this team. Um, and if I can help, my, my goal is to really pin pin the other team as deep as possible and make them make let our defense go out there and do what our defense has done for a couple of years now and that's get stops so if I can do my role and pin them inside the 20 inside the 10 and make them go 90 yards um, I think it's gonna help us um, and if I can help us win some games then uh, you know the dream is to go on to win the pac 12 this year and if I, I do my role and, and let the defense go out there and do theirs, then hopefully that gives us a chance. Um, and then real quick, what position did you play uh, in footy? So it's a position called the halfback flank. Um, so essentially you could look at it, if you were comparing positions, something is like a corner or a safety over here. I played on the defensive side of the ball um, and you've got to sort of try and intercept essentially, and then rebound. And once you intercept, you've got to go and try and score. So you can look at look at it from a position of like a corner or a safety or someone trying to intercept the ball. So it's called the halfback flank. And I played that role for, for many years. And it's a, it's a role I love. OK, uh, Jasper, you good? Yeah, thanks, Kyle. Thanks. Okay, you bet. Yeah. All right, guys, we got a uh... See no more questions in the chat, but I'll give you guys five seconds or so. If you got another one, uh, let us know in the chat. Okay, not seeing any, we'll uh, let Jam get out of here.